Small machinery is among the innovations that could be critical to St. Lucia's food security, as autonomous farming promises to produce more crops with less effort and less environmental impact. Farmers, extension officers, as well as students, recently completed a small machinery training as part of the latest feat of the second phase of the enhancement of the efficiency of the production distribution supply chain in the fruits and vegetable sector project, also known as the Seven Crops Project. Participants learned how to operate tillers and bankers to perform primary and secondary tillage for vegetable farming. Project coordinator for the Seven Crops Project, Adlin Yudovic, says the training is in preparation for the shipment of small machinery due to arrive later this year as the ministry works towards adapting to farm mechanization. In the past we've had several machines that we have received, but when it comes to maintenance and how to operate the machines properly, it becomes an issue. So we have some young farmers today and also some um, school children and extension officers as well who are receiving first-hand um, training in how to use these machines, the proper use of the machines, so that when these machines arrive, we would have had that done already so it could move, it could move smoothly into operations. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, says the introduction of small mechanization, particularly labor-saving agricultural technology, is aimed at making the agriculture sector more appealing to the youth. He notes that farm mechanization not only saves time and energy, but it is also more efficient and can contribute significantly to the development of value chains. I've always said that we have to change the way things are done in the sector. Farmers have been complaining of, of the unavailability of agricultural or farm labor, to be exact. And given the whole thrust of food security, it is time that we, our farmers, change the way things are done, all in an effort to reduce the cost of production. Farm machinery is one new technology that I think is very, very urgent in the sector because it drastically reduces the cost of production. A small machinery that you see there will reduce the cost of maybe if you have to use manual labor. What is happening with the small machinery there would have probably be done in one hour. It may have taken four days for one worker to do it. That is overall going to be reducing the cost of production of the farmer. And at the end of the year, the farmer scheme is going to be a lot more. Minister Prosper encourages farmers to adopt sustainable agricultural mechanization methods as the Agriculture Ministry leads efforts to address the interconnected challenges of livelihoods and food security. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.